Okay, here's a super fast video that may save you some money. This is my first YouTube how to fix it video that I decided to do because YouTube has helped me so many times. So it's time to pay back. Okay, um, as the title says, fix your tailgate in your BMW uh, X5 E70. Water had gotten in to the tailgate. Comes in either from here or comes in from, from this light, not sure yet. But when you pop these open, these, these covers here, they just pull right out of there. If there's water in here, you know, this thing was like almost full with water and this computer was essentially submerged. This is a computer that controls the tailgate. So if there's water in here and this thing is not sealed at all, it's just, it's just basically a little plastic box. Uh, water will get in here, short out, uh, short out your electrical connections and then you'll get the uh, tailgate malfunction error. So um, you may think uh, you're, you're in for at least a few hundred bucks for a new computer, but not necessarily. This is the same one. This is the same one I had. This one was submerged in water. I complete. I was able to save it, like just yesterday. So like it works again. Wasn't doing that yesterday. Okay, it was getting the air, it would just it would just unlatch and just stay there if you're getting the same air. So here's what you do. So this is not guaranteed to work. I was I, I believe I was extremely lucky, but just give it a shot. First, unplug these connectors. Get this thing out of here. Second, uh, peel this sticker off. There's four of these little latches. One, two, three, four. Just poke a screwdriver under here, open it up so you can see inside. There's a control board, an integrated circuit control board in here. I could see that there was some corrosion and water damage uh, in there, but sometimes you, that's reversible if it was just a short. So what was the first thing I did? First, well, obviously made sure there was no water in it. I sprayed this in there. This is all I had. Usually I have like an electric uh, electric circuit cleaner, but you know, a mass airflow sensor is very similar and this, uh, this uh, evaporates very quickly uh, and it sprays really hard. So spray that in there, spray it on the board, above the board, beneath the board, you can get underneath it and just uh, spray this and just try to um, remove any surface corrosion. You can also, what also I did was I took just this little bristle brush, it's a very thin little bristle brush, got it at Harbor Freight, just gently, um, gently scrub across the top of the circuit board. You know, all, all the components are soldered in very tightly, they're not going anywhere. So you're not going to loosen them, but just there may be some salt or some surface corrosion, which is causing the short. You just kind of want to brush that off. So brush that off. Once you get that off, you know, and do the top of the board as well as the bottom. You can get to both of it. The board sits about mid-level here. You can scrub the top, scrub the bottom. Then this stuff will simply evaporate. So that's cool. Um, uh, the last thing you have is these connectors. If there's, you know, there will be water in these. So I got my air compressor hose and I just, I just blew them out. Just blow these connectors out. Just get all the water out of there. Uh, and then all I did was plug it, you know, uh, plug it back in, close it up, put the decal back in place, you know, popped it back into its place. And that was it. It worked. I was, look, I'll tell you right now, I was surprised. I didn't think it was gonna work. I actually had even ordered one from eBay um, to replace this one, but then uh, like an hour later, I tested it and the door worked, so I canceled it. So give that a shot. You know, sometimes uh, electrical circuits, you know, low voltage, you know, water will cause a short, but it may not destroy anything. So give it a shot. You may save yourself a little bit of money. All right, thanks.